everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris Winter, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about taking care of Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Now, this is my little man. Um, I have a woman back in the cage, but she, I think she's pregnant, so she's a little bit grumpy. Um, so they are obviously hard shelled, and they're always they're always on fear factor because they don't bite, but they hiss. And that hissing mechanism is a way of defense to scare off their, any of their predators and it's really freaking terrifying when they're like and you're like i'm sorry so yeah they don't have anything to bite you with and all only pain you will ever feel the pain you'll ever feel from holding them is probably them trying to hold on throw i pinch you and you're like oh no so that's they don't bite they're really great pets to have they get pretty big um, I think he's only went through two sheds so far, so he's he's a decent size. Um, they're really sweet animals, bugs, insects. Really sweet insects. And the tank I currently have them in is a little tiny 12 gallon, no, two gallon, a little two gallon. This one right here. Um, I have bark at the bottom because I can't find any coconut, like, what is it called? Coconut, the outside of coconut. Shredding. Yeah, co coconut, coconut shred, like the... Like the cage of the coconut. Yeah, like the outside of the coconut, like the brown. Like, yeah. Coconut husk. Husk. That's it. That's what it is. That's, that's yeah. Um, you can put water crystals, like water gel crystals in there for, you know, water. That's what I have currently. Um, I bought it for a dollar at my local pet shop that's down there. Primeval Pets. Shout out. Um, they can eat cat food, dog food. You can feed them anything. They love, um oranges and a lot of fruits if you have anything a little bit a little bit overdue or perspiring just throw it in there it'll be like ooh, yum and there you go uh here's the top i made i thought she was gonna have baby sooner the little woman so i put um like a little mesh over it so the babies can't escape but she hasn't birthed them yet and I have a quartz crystal rock, like, mixed with rock in there, and they absolutely love that. They're super sweet. Hold them often. The more you hold them, the better, you know, you are with them. Because then they'll just sit there with you for hours and be like, I'm fine. Yeah. So they're pretty easy. I really recommend them for first time, like, beginner pets, because they're really hardcore. If you forget to feed them for two weeks, they'll be fine. Um... They, they have very hard shells, so if you accidentally drop one, they'll be fine. And to distinguish the male from the female, the female usually has darker colors and doesn't have any bumps on its head. I'm like, this guy, he's a very light. Can't see that. He has two, you see those bumps right there? Those are his little, you know, his little horns. And yeah, they're super sweet. Very recommended to have for animals. And that's it for this little caretaking video. I hope you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe, comment for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.